with everything happening the way that it is at YouTube right now, with, you know, the hashtag adpocalypse that totally no one's freaking out about and it's not a big deal, a lot of different people are trying to find a way to monetize their content and keep pursuing the things that they're passionate about. I personally believe that there is no better way to do that than through Patreon. It's a crowdsourcing type income model that's based entirely around rewards and incentives that you, the content creator, get to design for your own audience. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a successful Patreon. Stick around. With roughly 70 patrons and about $1,000 earned on average through Patreon, I do feel as though I can offer some tips and things that I've learned on my time here on Patreon. First, I'd like to guide you through the actual setup of Patreon, which is actually pretty easy. You can head on over to Patreon.com and see what's going on and maybe learn a little bit more about Patreon itself and the various blogs that Patreon has for its creators. In fact, I think it's best to let the CEO of Patreon, Jack Conti, tell you a little bit about Patreon himself. Patreon is a membership platform that makes it really easy for creators to get paid. We're using the idea of patronage, which is actually a really old idea. Exactly, Jack. If it weren't for patrons, we wouldn't have Romeo and Juliet or Mona Lisa, Mozart, Shakespeare, Da Vinci. They all had patrons, mostly aristocrats who paid them to create so they could enjoy their works and brag to their friends about how cool they are for supporting creators. Yeah, so it's kind of like that, but better. This provides creators with a sustainable income while retaining full creative control. And it allows fans to connect with them on a whole new level. So if you're a professional creator, start a page and give your fans the opportunity to become patrons. It could help you do the best work of your life. And you'll be greeted by this. Use a display name. Now, I actually highly recommend using something that you use on your page or your book or your album, wherever you're producing content, whatever name you go by there, have it be the same name here on Patreon. It's just going to make it much easier to find you if by chance they lose your link and are searching for you directly. Then you need to answer what are you creating? Try to be as specific as possible here and also maybe spice it up a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? If you can say, oh, this person is doing uh, these type of videos. Well, what what real kind, right? Not just live streams, but what kind of live streams? Uh, right here, you get to which category fits you best, which category fits what you make best. After that, you'll be treated yet again to a little message by Jack Conti, the CEO of Patreon. So welcome to Patreon. We're thrilled to have you. Go get paid for the things that you're giving back to the world. That's what it's all about. Okay, see you later, everybody. The next thing that you're going to be presented with after that nice, nice welcome message from Jack Conti himself, you're going to be uh, presented with uh, a little bit more of your name and what are you creating and what sounds more correct, right? Uh, but you're also going to have a profile picture. This is the same type of profile picture that you probably want on your YouTube channel or wherever else you are. Something that they can see a picture and be like, ah, yes, that person. Now, your cover image is where I think you can get a little bit more creative. Uh, if you do art, definitely have something on display here. Uh, you really, really want your channel cover image or your Patreon cover image to reflect you, your personality and what you do in the best possible way. Maybe that's just having a, a thing that says your brand with the with your what times you stream or what times you release videos or something else entirely. Uh, be creative when it comes to your cover image. For instance, uh, I'll just use myself as an example. What I've done is I've actually taken a bunch of thumbnails from all of uh, a bunch of previous streams and actually compiled them into one image, and that is my cover image. So people are able to look at that and be like, oh, he streams all of these different types of games. Maybe I want to support this person, and, and that's pretty cool. So next, you're gonna have some social media links as well. Obviously include all of the social media. The more, the better, right? Your Facebook, your YouTube, your Twitch, your Twitter, all that jazz, include it right here. Next, we'll be moving into your about section. This is huge, and I cannot stress enough how important this section actually is. Think of this as your sales pitch, the only opportunity you have to convince someone to invest their hard-earned money in you and your creative product. This should be a short little paragraph about what people can expect from you, but way more important than just this text part, your intro video. 
I've seen this mistake made over and over. This is not an introduction of your YouTube channel or book or Twitch or short stories. This is an introduction of Patreon to your existing audience on whatever platform they are on. While Patreon does have a really great search function, I really don't think the majority of your new patrons are going to come from the website itself. Instead, they'll come from the traffic that you kick up on your platform where they already know you. Just as important as the About section is your reward tiers. This is what sets Patreon apart from YouTube or Twitch or other crowdsourcing sites. You can create as many or as few tiers as you choose, and you get to create them specifically for your own audience, which is different than any other audience on Earth, and you should use that to your advantage when creating these reward tiers. Now, I do have some general tips for creating reward tiers, the most important of which is not to create more work for yourself. Writing a personalized thank you message for every patron might sound like a great idea, but when your Patreon starts booming and you have to create a hundred individual thank you messages, you aren't creating. You aren't spending time doing the thing people are paying you to begin with. The best reward tiers you can design are ones that happen alongside the work you are already doing, like creating credits at the end of a video or using people's names in the short stories you are already writing. Trust me, I chose a small amount of people to do videos for every month, and even that has been almost impossible to stay on top of. Another tip I have is think about what you want from your favorite creator or what you would want from your favorite creator, because believe it or not, you are somebody's favorite. It's very important to put yourself in other shoes while designing these reward tiers. And finally, don't make too many reward tiers. Too many choices and people tend to get overwhelmed. A $5 tier tends to be the most popular as a $5 a month is no more than a coffee and many people are more than willing to support you for that. With that said though, have options. It's more important that you feel like people are getting an adequate reward than for you to have a ton of reward tiers. If you have the perfect $100 tier, don't be afraid to use it. Honestly, the reward far outweighs the amount. And finally, after setting up everything, you have one last thing to do, and that is to set up your goals. Start small and attainable. People will want to help you reach those goals. If you start with something crazy and unattainable, or not entirely realistically attainable, people might not want to waste their money and see you not reach that goal. People will spend the money if they are, if you are close to the goal or if they can have a, a significant contribution to the goal, people will want to help you reach that. Update these goals often and be sure to include rewards in these goals for all of the patrons who helped you reach it. For example, I've done a 24 hour stream for a thousand dollar a month goal or something smaller like a victory dance video sent directly to all of my patrons for $100 a month. Be realistic and you'll go far. And that's it. You're done. After you set up your goals, you now have a Patreon page that is ready to go. The last thing I'll say is take your time before the launch. Make sure everything is exactly how you want it. And welcome to Patreon. It'll change your life. I know it changed mine. This video was produced by one of my own patrons, Majros77. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my knowledge of Patreon and for all of your patience in the creation of this video. You are a saint. If you like this video, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button that's showing up on screen right now. And remember, never give up, never surrender. Welcome to Patreon.